today I'm cosplaying as Himmel, R.I.P. The hero. Himmel. Let's check out some more free run. But before we do, if you enjoy the video, like, comment, maybe subscribe to the channel. I promised I would shave my head at 50,000. And I've done that, so I'm bald now. Let's see if we can get 60,000 by the end of the year, 100 by the end of next year. You can find the full length as well as exclusives over on Patreon. Also, by the way, on Fridays, I do stream over on Twitch. You can find the link to my Twitch channel down in the description where we watch Freerun live on stream. Stop by. One thing I'm really excited for is the fact that she's going on this journey 30 years after she went on this same journey. She, we're going to see that mortality in play. We're going to see how much people have changed over the last 30 years. The kids she met along the way. Adults. The adults she met along the way. Older. Any older people? You know? It's going to be pretty wild. And all the while, she'll remember moments from Himmel that will get her closer to him. I feel like this journey itself will be a way for her to remember Himmel and get closer to him. Kind of remember moments that she looked at as just part of the mere 10 years. And they'll just be more important to her. I'm excited for it. Oh, she's happy to go on this journey. Mere 10 year. Wasn't so fucking mere, was it? Damn, that's fucked. Kind of got you there, though. He kind of OP. Being weird. All right? It's not bad. I like the OP. It's good. Is it as good as the ED? No. The ED is, like, fucking phenomenal for this series. The OP is fine. Why is why, why people tripping? True. People probably wanted something really sad. That's what the ED is for, bro. Bro, the OP is supposed to get you into the shit. Be a good girl. Or else she'll fucking blast you with some magics. Oh! Damn. I mean, I know he liked his spirits, but... I wonder who. Aww. Twenty-eight years. Beautiful animation. I love the noise. I like that they added like that film grain, the noise to it, like how Mushoku Tensei has. Mmm, that sound like a spell, bro. Yeah, that sound like a spell or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I noticed it was kind of foggy. It could be like a, um, I don't know, some sort of like scent or something or like a haze that like causes you to see this shit. You know, a hallucinogen. I'm a good- Wait, damn, unlike you, that's a little disrespectful. Mm. Oh, so illusion, not hallucinogen, but whatever. More or less what I was getting at. I like that what they're doing right now is they're kind of like building up a little more of the world, helping us to understand the different creatures, how magic would interact with them, the type of magic or, you know, the type of like what's going on to cause this, you know, I like that. That's cool. No, you can't because it's going to be buddy. Talk. Wait, what the fuck? Used to hearing? What the fuck? Why did her master beg for her life so often? Yeah, I'm saying, what the fuck? Oh, here it is. Look at that. Look at that hazy fog. She's not going to be able to kill homie. The, uh, the drunk priest guy. I don't remember his name. I'm sorry. Oh, that must be such a great thing to hear. See? 
It trips you out, lowers your guard. Yeah, it is kind of fucked. Nah, he matters more to her now than her than her master did. Yeah, do those ten years worth? Okay, wait, hold on. I don't know. If, I don't know if she needed to fucking terraform this mountainside. I don't know if she needed to fucking create new rivers and shit. What the fuck was that? God, God. Okay, I don't know about all that. Was all that necessary? Bro, they don't have like a like a like something to diffuse this a little bit, bring it down? Bro, they don't have like a like a like a like a dimmer on the setting? Why is the shit dialed up to a hundred? They can't release it at like 20% or something? Damn. God damn, they destroyed this fucking forest. Bro. <laughs> Yo. That's wild. Yo, <laughs> they fucked that place up though. Sheesh! Dragon. <gasps> Dragon egg? What is that? Oh. Grimoire! Is that a five leaf clover? Is that Asta's? I'm just kidding. We're not gonna make those references. She's gonna read that grimoire and she's gonna be like, Fire Bolto! Fire Bolto! Fire Bolto! A solar dragon. So they got different types. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of knew it was gonna be his fucking person, right? This guy stopped having an axe at one point, right? Why'd you stop having an axe? I bet Stark has his axe, right? He said like an axe was too heavy, he switched over to a stick. I think that's the point when he picked up a new apprentice, I think. And uh, that's why he doesn't have an axe. I'd be willing to bet. I'd be willing to bet. Oh wait, no, that's 28 years ago. Oh wait, maybe not. I don't know, I feel like he gave the axe to the kid is all I'm trying to say. He had an axe and I was like, oh, he probably gave it to this kid. This kid's probably his apprentice because axe, Axe, we already have one apprentice for the priest, right? Like, I kind of figured it was going to be this way. The wild thing is, if we get a Himmel apprentice. Ara, that's what we like to see. Bro, I need that spell for, um, because, um, my dream job is to be in the TSA. So I just want to make sure that people don't have like bad items on them. That's all it, that's all it is. It's not like a, it's not like a, it's not like a weird pervy thing, right? It's like, that's my dream job. Like ever since I was a kid, I was like, damn, I really want to like hold up lines of people that want to get on their flights and make sure that they can't get through for any reason. And then like, but I could be like really good at it. You know, I could make sure people never get on their flights despite knowing that they have nothing on them. Be pretty cool. Yo, he held off a dragon? Oh, he looks cool too. I'll fuck with it. Good kids. Look at that. Who are you? Do you recognize Freerun? So you're the ones who mess with the dragon. <laughs> Oops. Oh. What the fuck? <gasps> From the stories? Hey, how many of y'all say privacy? I know we've got a couple of, of you UK people around here. I know you guys say privacy, don't you? You say privacy? How many of y'all say privacy? Never heard someone say it like that? Oh, maybe it's not a UK thing. Maybe it's an old people thing. Hmm. It might be an old people thing. I hear it all the time since I listen to Talk Sport. Oh, okay. I don't know what Talk Sport is, but cool. If he's Himmel's apprentice, why he looks so young? He's not Himmel's apprentice. He's um it um e e Igor's e eagle um e enol e is esol eyes Eisen Eisen. That's what it was. Eisen's apprentice, not Himmel's. I'm saying I would like to see Himmel's apprentice if there is one out there. I say privacy like a normal human being. I'm not quite privy to the privacy. Wait, did he steal the motherfucker's axe, bro? That's wild. Do you think we're afraid of a little bit of sun? Bro, we about to hit this solar dragon with that SPF. You know what I'm saying? We ain't worried about this shit. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. 
師匠が連れてけって言ったんだろただ高恐竜だけは絶対に倒した Let's do it dude you know I'm saying we got this ママのとの戦闘経験はゼロだよ助けてくれよフリーレ I knew it What the fuck? Bro. Oh no. Yeah, he's like king. Dude, he's like king. Oh my god. Guys, do you think it's the axe? Was it the axe? Like the axe is like a legendary the a legendary axe of Aizen. You know what I'm saying? It gives him the ability to to fucking um uh um access the the um hold on I got I got this joke I got this joke hold on um I don't want to get the name wrong but I know what it's called it's called um gives him the ability to access the fuck dude where is it All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go on for, I I can't find it but I'm just gonna go for a whim Hogyoku it's a Bleach reference I don't remember if it's called the Hogyoku some shit like that dude I don't know. Yeah, I took too long. I couldn't think of it, dude. I couldn't I couldn't think of it. I couldn't think of it. But it's kind of crazy that that the the dragon was like he was like, "Oh, you motherfucker, you got in my way." <laughs> like he was like literally destroying the town, but he shows up with the axe and the 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 fucking dragon's like Ugh! and he fucking runs away. <laughs> it literally just gets mad, throws a tantrum, like breaks down two buildings and flies off. Damn it. I didn't know somebody with an axe was going to show up. Fuck. That's a nice looking cut of meat right there. God. That would be the dragon. Oh. Yo, wait, how strong is Stark? What the fuck? Oh, interesting. He also ran when when his village was attacked. Bro, the fucking thing in the mountain is from his axe. What the fuck? Well, that axe looking right too, bro. Ooh, um. God, I love it, dude. Ah, I love that shit, dude. That's a good one, dude. That's a good fucking AD. I'll tell you that much. i tell you that much. That's a good ass AD. Ah, damn. Damn, son bitch, that's a good one. All right, guys, Uh, good episode. We get introduced to Aizen's Apprentice. So now our girls got two apprentices. Aizen is uh the 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 dwarf guy, yeah. But but so this apprentice coward, but strong as fuck. We saw that the thingy was made by him. He was doing the thingy. That's crazy. He's strong as shit. He could probably chop up this dragon if he's fucking up a mountain like that. Though admittedly, our peoples, our mages, they put holes in rocks, so you know. Maybe not so much. I don't know. But but I think she said at some point during this episode that she basically needs 30 seconds to cast a spell and he just needs to hold off the dragon for that amount of time, right? For 30 seconds, right? I think that's what she was say, saying. She really wants to get a grimoire. Grimoire with a spell to be able to see through clothing. I feel that, bro. I feel it. I feel that shit. I get it. That makes sense, right? I feel like we all could, could, could go for a... I don't know, dude. It's cool, man. I want to see how this thing plays out. I like that we get the, the moment where they, you know, deforest this fucking mountainside. Jesus. They blasted the fuck out of these trees. That was pretty cool. And that's a fucked up spirit. It, using her own memories against her, like in order to come up with the, 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 the present, the, what, what do I want to say? Like the, um, the illusion of someone you know, using your memories. So that way it really feels like it is that person. That's kind of fucked up. But I think all these different things play into the lore, play into the world building 
for this series makes it a whole a hell of a lot more interesting and uh yeah what do you guys think about this one let me know in the comments and as always if you enjoyed the video then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one until next time make sure you all keep it fresh peace <laughs>